A train is out of control and heading towards five people. You can pull a lever to change its path, but then it will hit one person on the other track. But if you do nothing, five people die. What would you do? Now, let's think about this in the real world. Who is standing at the lever makes a big difference. It could be a normal citizen, just a random person who happened to be there. Or it could be a switchman whose job is to control the tracks. What the law says changes depending on who that person is. For a normal citizen in the United States, the law is clear. You have no legal duty to save strangers. If you walk away and five people die, you would not go to prison. If you do pull the lever and one person dies, it would still not be considered murder. Murder requires intent, meaning you must want someone dead. Here, your intent is to save five lives, not to kill one. There is also a legal idea called the doctrine of necessity, which allows a smaller harm if it prevents a much greater one. So the law would likely see the action as justified. But if you're a switchman, this is someone whose actual job is to move trains and keep the tracks safe. Unlike a normal citizen, the switchman has a legal duty to act. If five people are in danger and the switchman does nothing, the law could call that negligence, failing to do your job when lives are at risk. In serious cases, this could lead to criminal charges such as manslaughter. But if the switchman pulls the lever and one person dies, the same rule about intent applies. The goal is not to kill, but to prevent a greater loss of life, so the law would likely protect them. So the key difference is this. A normal citizen is not legally required to act, even if doing nothing feels wrong. A switchman is required to act, and doing nothing could itself be a crime. But in both cases, pulling the lever is not murder, because the law focuses on intent, and the intent here is to save lives, not to take them. So go ahead and pull the lever.